As incredible as it may sound, there were some slaves in the United States who loved their life as a slave. The following is an example of one such slave named Clara Davis. Not much is known about Clara Davis other than that, according to her, she was born in Monroeville, Alabama in 1845. In 1937, she sat down for an interview with a writer named Francois Ludger Dyard, where she reminisced about her days as a slave in Alabama and talked about how much joy it brought her. She states, White folks, you can have your automobiles, paved streets and lights. You can have your buses and streetcars and hot pavement and tall buildings because I ain't got no use for them no way. I'll tell you what I do want. I want my old cotton bed and the moonlight shining through the willow trees and the cool grass under my feet while I run around catching lightning bugs. I want to feel the sway of the old wagon going down the red dusty road and listening to the wheels groaning as they roll along. I want to sink my teeth into that old ash cake. White folks, I want to see the boats passing up and down the Alabama River and hear the slaves singing at their work. I want to see dawn break over the Black Ridge and the twilight settle over the place spreading an orange hue. I want to walk the paths through the woods and see the rabbits and the birds and the frogs at night. But they took me away from that a long time ago. Weren't long before I married and had children. But don't none of them contribute to my support now. One of them was killed in the big war with Germany and the rest is all scattered out, eight of them. Now I just live from hand to mouth. Here one day, somewhere else the next. I guess we all gonna die, even if this depression don't let us alone. Maybe someday I'll get to go home. They tell me that when a person crosses over that river, the Lord gives them what he wants. I don't told the Lord, I want nothing much, only my home, white folks. I don't think that's much to ask for. I suppose he'll send me back there. I've been waiting a long time for him to call. Although the validity of the interview is questionable, given that the only evidence we have for it are writings by Francois Ludger, it does follow a pattern of many former slaves talking highly about their lives as slaves and even wishing to be back on the plantation. I'll be covering more of these slave accounts in future videos.